Hey guys, it's Purple East here today, and we are here with Leonardo Ugi, who topped the Purple East Cup at Nord Edition. So, man, show us your deck profile. And now, shout out to our sponsor, the first one being Grad, the best grading company in Europe, which offers grading services for all languages and TCGs. The second one is Game to Collect, one of the top Italian sellers on the market, specialized in American high brevity cards, got format and misprints, alongside large assortment sealed products. They also collect your cards up to 85% of their value. Next, we have Eximic Cards, which is one of the top sellers on the market, specialized in meta cards, located in Albanga, where you can eat and play with your mates every day. Fantasy Store is up next. They are some of the best in the game focusing on sealed products. They provided us with a special discount code for you guys. So be sure to use Purple 5 discount code to get the 5% off your purchase. Last but not least, we have Playmat Per Tutti. They produce amazing custom playmats that may have your own images as well. All sponsor links are in the description down below, so don't forget to check them out. Again, I'm a little bit in her, so I'll show you the brick first. You have to play Chu because I fear God. That is Chu A, Chu B, strongest piece. Never saw him in hand. And Chu C. Uh, Chu Chu and Chu. You, de you never need more. Sometimes you get uh, to go for double ABC on the first one. The rest of that part is this, which is strong. Occasionally to play around cards. And yeah. uh, if you draw a piece, it's like Anger, pretty much. Which is not great, but it's something. Then we have Anger, strongest card. Uh, you want to see him every time, at all costs. You have to stack something, you stack Anger. Then we play the Tyrion part, true and true. Uh, it's not only because I'm poor, it's also because you never really want to see this alone. You want to see this with something else, so I think that 4 was enough, uh, considering I'm playing the pots as well. Then I'm playing the strong support engine. These things, because they are ultimate and they're shiny. Uh, this thing, you draw it against Flanderis, sometimes it wins you the game, sometimes you lose anyway. Then 1 and 1 of the card you never want to see, but sometimes it's not bad to see him. 3 rights. Yeah. It's shiny, we play it. And there's that. Triple Ash, only hand trap. You, never, you do not have space, considering you play 3 engine, to run any more than that. Then we play turf farming, only because it's ultimate, otherwise I would have played it. And then we have set rotation, which is the second one. It's not, it's not awfully bad. And playing this, which is another one of the 13-year-old uh, lady that has me at the negation. Pulled by the grave because I fear God. Uh, we hate strikers, we always throw it against them, we lose. This because you have, a, you do not have enough spots for hand traps, so you play this, hoping that it will resolve your game. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. Three pots, it's fine. You use it to add whatever piece you need. Strong Stable, you stability. Need. Let's see extra deck. Once I find it. So, card for the combo. It's this. Then this, because if you do not have another piece, you, sometimes you have no way yeah, you combo. to actually special summon the other, and so you have to discard. Yeah. Uh, discard to make Axie code, but like no others. IP Masquerian is part of your normal combo and board, which is pretty much going to be this, this, ABC, and whatever kind of negation. Uh, then uh, all the Nightmares, because uh, they are really easy to make, considering uh, at turn 3 you have a lot of fodder with the 3 pieces you summon back. Axis code and Appalooza. Uh, you make Appalooza a lot more than Axis code in this deck. You also make this a decent amount of times. Uh, it's good because you resummon three pieces, so you always have to fodder to make it. Sometimes it wins you the game. Triple ABC. Ones always fly out the window when you activate Pox, but it's fine. Then we play Baguska. Never made it, but it's technically relevant, especially if you play as like bullshit against. You know, uh, crap like uh, Salamangrid, like uh, the other crap uh, it's uh, for Wanderers and things like that. And then the card to win in time that I never activated and so I lost in time. Then for the side deck, we decided to side this instead of draw. And I regret this. Honestly, it was subpar. I only sided in one time against Graves. Because there are not a lot of World Soul running around in the format since it's the worst deck out of the tier 1 decks. Triple Nib, generically good against Punk. It's good if you draw it with another hand trap. It's, it's fine. Um, just this shoe for uh, Despia Hate. Uh, that deck sucks anyway, so you don't need more than two. Uh, reboot, because it's funny when you draw it. Sometimes you lose anyway, but it's still funny when you draw it. 
triple twin uh, for both flu wonderies and cancer in general. Yeah, cancer. We want to cure yeah. cancer, and that's a way to cure it. What the fuck are you smiling for, you piece of shit? And then three anti spell because we have to give some cancer in order to release it from us. Yeah, good. And that's pretty much it. It was nice okay. to play. In this tournament, we'd like to thank again all the powerful A's team and Mr. Papini over here. And with that being said, we'll head straight for home before they leave me here. Okay, thanks again for coming here today and see you the next time. Stay plus, stay powerful. See ya!